Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please hit that subscribe button? I'd really appreciate it and slam that like button. I'd appreciate that too. Just wanna to start off by wishing everybody a happy new year and all the best in 2022. What this video is about today is stopping drinking. I'm gonna tell you how I stopped drinking and some of the things that I did that made it easier for me to stop drinking in the beginning, in the early days of recovery, because let me tell you something, if you're going to stop drinking and you're an alcoholic like I was, relying on that booze every day, you are going to have difficulties stopping. You really, really will. It's hard to stop drinking. It's, it's difficult. It's probably one of the hardest things that I've ever done in my life. It really is. The booze, you know, for me, it ran my life. It was in every nook and cranny of my life. It took it over. So quitting drinking was very, very difficult. But that's what this video is about, is a few things that I did that helped me, and I hope they will help you stop drinking. And I wanna just say kudos to you if you're thinking on changing your life and making your life better. That's just fantastic, it really is. You know, there's nothing like a clean and sober life. It really isn't. The first thing I wanna talk about is number one is consulting a medical doctor or somebody in the addiction field and the reason i'm saying this is because alcohol itself when you if you withdraw from it physically you get a physical reaction that can kill you to, to say the least it really can for myself when i used to withdraw i had huge heart palpitations huge heart palpitations. I thought I was going to die and have a heart attack. I used to run to the emergency. And that was one of the major withdrawals from alcohol that I got. So if you're going to stop drinking, for please go and see a medical professional, either your doctor or somebody in the addiction industry that knows what they're talking about. Don't tell your girlfriend or your mother or your friends. You, know, you can tell them if you want. But if you're drinking daily, make sure you go and see somebody in the medical field okay do that do that for me don't take any advice from a, a guy on a video on youtube just go and see somebody in the medical business that's very very important the second thing i want to tell you is that what i did and what i suggest that you do is remove all your booze from your house get rid of it i don't care if your christmas coming up or a new year's party Whatever it is, or friends that drink, they come over the odd time, you wanna give them a beer, just get rid of all the booze out of your house, okay? For myself, I needed a safe zone. Somewhere when times got tough, I could sit there and just relax, sit with my feelings, and just sort of work my way through it without having any temptation of alcohol around me. So a safe place at home, get rid of all your booze, and to this day, a number of years later, over 20 years later, I still do the same. I don't have any liquor in my house whatsoever, none. And if people bring over booze, I always tell them to bring it home with them at the end. And that's just the way I am, I'm just like that. Another thing I wanna tell you is about your friends and your old haunts. If you think you can quit drinking and drugging, I, I drank and drugged by hanging around the same old drinking buddies, are going to the same old haunts, the same old bars, and this, doing the same old stuff where there is booze involved and hanging around saying, I'm the silver guy, I'm just gonna sit there and drink ginger ale, cause that's what I did. I went to the bars still with my buddies, cause that was lonely. I hung around with all my drinking buddies and eventually, guess what happened? Yeah, you guessed it, I drank. And that, that relapse kept me out for another two and a half years before I came back into a 12-step recovery program. Believe it or not, it, like we need to change. We need to change everything in our lives, but at the start, get rid of your drinking buddy friends and don't go to the old bars because you're lonely. Don't do that. Stay at home, watch TV, call people up on the phone, do whatever you can, but don't go and hang out where there's booze. Don't, don't, why tempt yourself to do that, okay? So that's, that's another one. Another one is, is to me it was really important to start forming some new habits, okay? Alcohol took a big part of my life up. Well, I should, it probably took up 70% of my life. 
So I had to develop some new habits. I started exercising, getting up on a regular basis, because alcohol made me a total lazy ass too. So getting up at a regular time, going to work, exercising, going to meetings. If you belong to a 12 step group, go to meetings each and every day. They say 90 and 90. Develop better eating habits. Start looking after yourself and build a routine in your life. It doesn't matter how small or how simple it is, but building a routine in your life will help you in your recovery. It really, really will. It did for me because I had no routine. I never looked after myself. I got up when I wanted. I went to work when I wanted. I did all those things when I wanted because the booze took over my life. You know, I drank all the time. So my life was a shipwreck, right? It was, it was awful. So building a routine really, really helped me a lot. So try and build your routine, write it down, put it on a calendar and, and build one. Everybody's routine is different, but do that. Exercise, eat properly, get up in time, have some fun, talk to friends, have a hobby, do something to fill in that time. Go to recovery meetings. You know, they say do 90 and 90, but do something to take up that time when you drank because you don't want to get bored because I was severely bored when I quit alcohol. Another one is, is that build up a support network, a support network. Tell people what you're up to, close friends that you're up to and what you what you maybe need from them. Hang around with like-minded people. Like I say, you can go to Alcoholics Anonymous, Smart Recovery, there's secular groups. There's all kinds of stuff you can do to help you with your emotional, mental and physical sobriety. There really is. You can go to counseling, build up some support networks. So when the time gets tough, you have someone to talk to, someone to reach out to. You're not alone because recovery can be very difficult. And because, well, for myself, I was very emotional. So when I was very emotional, I felt very alone at times, even in a full room. So I reached out, I got a sponsor in a 12 step program. I went to meetings regularly. I reached out all the time. I built a support network, take lots of phone numbers from people who are in recovery and give them a call. Even when the times are not so bad, give them a call, build that recovery support network up. Okay. That was very, very helpful for me. And I know it'll be helpful for you too. Okay. So try that, try that for some of us, it'll be difficult you know, reaching out, but just do it in small steps, just small steps. And the last one for me in this video was rehab. I slip, slid, slide <laughs> all over the place in early recovery. I had a hell of a time. I just couldn't get any traction. It came to a point that I went to a rehab center and I went to a 28 day rehab center here in Ottawa. And I stayed there, like I said, for 28 days. It was about this time of the year too. It was about November, December that I went to this place. And believe me, I did not like being in a rehab center. I didn't like it. I couldn't stand being locked up. I felt like I was in jail. I really did, but I stuck it out and I did it. And they taught me like about routine. They taught me about reaching out. They gave me a, um, uh, a selection of programs and support networks that were available. They looked after me, I, uh, they fed me, they gave me a place to sleep. The, all my basic needs were looked after if I could just focus on my recovery. So it gave me some traction and it gave me some education, a great deal of education about my addiction. So it helped a great deal going to a rehab. The thing I regret about rehab that I didn't stay there long enough. In Ottawa here, you can stay in a rehab up to a year. You can go to the, the 28 day intense program and then you can go somewhere for one year or two years. Long term uh, uh, programs that help people in recovery. There's homes here that you can stay at, that you can live at a minimal cost. If you're on social assistance, they'll take that and, and put that against your rent and your food, but it can help you a lot. And I wish I did that because 28 days wasn't enough for me. It really wasn't enough. So think about going to rehab, thinking about that, okay? Think about that. It'll really help you. And I know there's one thing that stops a lot of people that stop me is that I don't have time. I got a job, I got a family, I got kids to worry about. I got all these sort of things to worry about. Uh, I can't go to rehab, I got bills to pay. 
Well, I'm gonna tell you something. I felt the exact same way as that, that I can't go because I got all these things I'm responsible for. But because I never went, I lost everything because I relapsed and I started drinking again. Our sobriety has to come first because without sobriety, we don't have a job. We don't have a family. We don't have a girlfriend. We don't have a car. We don't have a place to live. We're living on the street. Believe me, I've been on the street. Well, kind of on the street, one foot on the street, in the street, one foot in a, in a hostile place. I don't know, it's a long time ago. But anyways, sobriety has to be number one for us and everything else in your life will come together. I guarantee it. Okay, I gotta get going now, I'm at work. I'm doing a quick video again in my, in my bus. So I just wanna say, Happy New Year to everybody. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. Stay sober, stay safe, God bless. Remember, we're in this together. Together, we can walk the path, the road to recovery. We really can. In numbers, we are strong. We are strong. Reach out. You can get sober. You can have a great life like many of us have in sober, a sober life. Alcoholism is not the end. It's just the beginning to a fantastic new life. Okay, thanks again. See you later. Happy New Year. I'm checking out and bye for now. Bye-bye.